completely ruined. Like actually hurting my finger because it's so cold. It just like froze into a rock. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel. I am so excited for today's video because it is going to be quite different from anything I've ever done on my channel ever. I'm going to be freezing my makeup and seeing what happens to it and then trying to apply it to my face. Does that sound weird? Probably because it's kind of weird. It's like a science experiment happening here. I am no scientist, so this is going to turn out very interesting. Uh, I got this idea from Sylvia. I'm not sure if she was the first person to do it, but I saw her video and I was like, hey, let me give it a try. What we're going to do is go back in time to last night when I filmed myself picking the makeup and then putting it in the freezer. I cannot wait, so just hang out with me and then we are about to pull it out of the freezer, show you the results. I don't even know. I put an aerosol in there. Like girl, it could have exploded. I don't know. So with that being said, we're gonna sing the subscribe song and then we're gonna jump right into the video. Now I'm gonna take you over to last night when we picked out the makeup and then we froze it. All right, to start off this journey, we are going to be going through my makeup. If you wanna see a more in-depth version of this, just click on the video in the description box where I redo my beauty room. The first thing that we'll need is my handy dandy Dollar Tree basket. I love this thing, I got it at the Dollar Tree a while back and I use it all the time. Uh, but it doesn't hold makeup brushes very well because they shoot right through the back. For primer, I'm tempted to do something like this Tarte one to see if the cream product in the pot will dry down hard, which will be kind of interesting. Or should I use something that's really liquidy to see if it will completely freeze? I think that's what I'm gonna end up doing using the watermelon burst. As far as foundation goes, I want to do something that opens up and kind of has a spatula in it. And the only one besides the Wet n Wild one that I can think of that would be perfect for this this is the one from Pure. I'm also gonna throw this ColourPop stick in there to see if the stick will freeze completely hard or not. Aha, I found her. Found it, so let's move on to concealer. I wanna try, where's your lid at, ma'am? I kinda wanna try out the Huda Beauty concealer because if I squeeze the tube, I wanna know if it's gonna be like a hard paste that comes out. As far as facial powder, I can't really imagine anything tremendous happening. So I'm just gonna grab one of the loose powders that I like. This is La Mercier Translucent Powder. It was at this very moment where I set down the powder and forgot to put it in the basket. Oh, Laura. Ooh, we need to find a bottle too. Spray, spray. What if you put an aerosol in there? Is something bad gonna happen? I did my research and it says there's no danger in freezing aerosols. So she's coming with us. I'm gonna grab like two eyeshadow palettes because I like to do lots of cool looks. First, I'm gonna grab my tried and true Nudie Patootie for all my transition shades. I'm gonna throw her in the basket for some color. I think this is one of my creamiest. This one is by Dose of Colors. Next up, I grabbed a couple of eyeliners and mascaras. For blush, I decided to go with this Morphe palette that is called Pop Up Blush. Oh my goodness, it's the highlighter drawer and y'all already know it's gonna take me a minute to decide. So let me think about it. <sighs> I feel like we should freeze one of these liquid highlighters. This one is by Iconic London. Okay, and we just have to freeze the jelly bean from Frisali. We are in the bronzer drawer. So this is one of my favorite bronzers. So we're gonna freeze it. And of course, we're gonna freeze one of these Tantors from Huda Beauty. I had and grab some brow gel, some dip brow pomade, and of course, I had to grab the Duo Lash Glue and Do Not Freeze. Yeah, she's a little old and crunchy, but she still works. Okay, it may seem kinda silly to freeze eyelashes, but we'll see what happens. I feel like we have to, it's part of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and freeze a couple of Kylie Jenner's liquid lipsticks just so I have different shade options. And a lip liner. Here we have my glorious freezer with some Halo Top ice cream, some French toast sticks. I told you there were echoes in there. And there's my makeup. See ya tomorrow. The next day. How oh, those popsicles get there? All right, 15 hours later. Oh my, weird guys, look at this, it like broke apart. I can't wait to see if it even opens. Oh my God, this is so rock hard. I mean, it was glass before, but still, look, everything's all froth. Oh, look at this. Oh, it's frozen. So back to the beauty room we go where we inspect 
all of this makeup. Okay guys, I'm so excited. We are ready to glam. We got all the makeup out of the freezer, so let's get started. The first product that I froze is the Watermelon Burst Hydrating Primer from Ciate. It's a super liquidy primer, so I was wondering if the formula would freeze. And it appears that the bottle's actually still kind of squishy. It's way thicker than it was, but whenever it squirts out, Ooh, she's having a little trouble. There she goes. It's kind of the same consistency, but just, oh my gosh, it's so cold. Like it feels like I just put an ice cube on my face, which kind of feels good. Wait, should we start freezing our primers? <laughs> Maybe not. Um, it smells really good. It still has the wonderful watermelon scent and it's warming back up and performing pretty much like normal. I actually froze two foundations. I froze the Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. And this is a long wear foundation and concealer and it pumps out, but it pumps out way thicker than what it normally does. It's actually a creamy, but yet kind of liquidy foundation. Um, so that's interesting, it just thickened it up. I was wondering if it would freeze completely or if the pump would even work on it at all. And then I froze the ColourPop Stick No Filter Foundation. I was wanna see if it would be like hard as a brick. It is not hard as a brick, but it's way harder than it normally is. And the packaging actually broke on it. So note to self, do not freeze your foundation. They will break and they will be ruined. So let's go ahead and apply it. So I'm just gonna use my M6 brush. I think I'm just gonna go with the Love Your Selfie. Oh my gosh, it's like ice. I know you guys are gonna get tired of me saying that, but I swear it's just like shockingly cold, even though I'm the one that put it in the freezer. This shade looks lighter. Did I put the wrong shade in the freezer? I did not. I am M in seven. It's like really thick to blend out TBH. Like it was way easier beforehand. I just made my life so much harder by putting it in the freezer, but that's okay. For the video. <laughs> it just feels like this foundation's lighter. However, I did just get back from being on the lake in Alabama. So my face is looking a little light. I'm kind of thinking that maybe the color of the foundation is changing. I might be kind of crazy. Girl, we've been knew I was crazy. Okay, so one of my favorite concealers I wanted to freeze because it comes in a squeezy tube is the Huda Overachiever. And I wanted to see if it would freeze like a rock. And the results are in and it did not actually. Oh my gosh, but it has this metal tip on it and rubbing it ice cold under my eyes. We all know that's gonna help with my baggage. <laughs> my baggage. And it actually feels like incredible. Maybe I should just keep this in the freezer because it seems to like perform pretty much the same. So I'm just gonna tap that out with my M6. I do go back and forth and I normally tap this because I just wanna press it into the skin and get it blended, but I don't want brush strokes, which whenever you're using a brush, a good way to avoid the strokes is to give it a tap. I think I forgot to put setting powder in there. How did I forget that? <laughs> It didn't make its way into the basket, so good job, Laura. <laughs> so this part of the video is kind of lame. I feel like it would've just been like cold powder though. Like what could happen to powder if you freeze it? Like this would've probably been one of the lamest items froze. Am I just saying that because I didn't freeze it? Yeah, but I mean like what else would happen to the powder, right? I'm gonna let this set for just a second. I'm taking an M334 brush and I froze the Tantor from Huda Beauty, which is their cream contour product. And it appears it has like a little frost happening on top of it. But whenever I swatch it, the product's still super creamy and easy to use. So, girl, freezing it didn't do a thing, really. It really didn't do a thing. Like, she's still just performing. She said, girl, don't try it because I'm good over here. So, if you want to freeze your Tantor, not much is going to happen. It just has a little frost on it, a little frosty. I kind of was wondering like with these cream products, is it gonna freeze into like a rock, like a piece of ice? But the formula that makeup is made out of, not always the case, but now all makeup is made with different formulas and different ingredients. And go ahead and snatch this neck while we're at it. This brush is kind of small, so it's great for applying the product, but blending it out, it takes me a little while longer. I chose the tiniest brush I could find. Next is the Hula. Hula powder from Benefit. This is actually a bronzer powder. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the Tantor with it. Now, freezing this, it had frost all over it, but I really didn't expect much to happen because it is a pressed powder and not much happened. It was just kind of like normal. Kind of chilly, but like normal. So, we live in a snowy area and you leave your Hula in the car, just know she's gonna be just fine. Okay, the blush palette had frost 
all over the top of it, but swatching it, it actually didn't swatch quite as good, but I think that's because they're kind of rock hard. It seems to be okay. I'm gonna take an M581 brush, and I'm just gonna mix these two in shades right here. Yeah, she still performs okay. Like, we're good. We're good in the blush department, the bronzer department. Okay, so now it gets a little bit interesting, and that's because I froze the Farsali. Girl, she frozen! She froze! The Jelly Beam Highlighter, whatever it's made out of, will actually freeze, and it has, like, this weird sliminess on it. But if you swatch it really hard, you gotta mix her back up, but she's, like... It's like a piece of ice in here. I'm like just digging all in it. It's like actually hurting my finger because it's so cold. Am I being dramatic? Absolutely, but no, it really was like, ah, get your hand out there, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Ooh, such a pretty highlight. And it seems to be just as blinding, but guess what? Your first Ollie highlight, it will actually freeze. Like it will freeze into an ice cube, which I finally got the results that I wanted. I wanted something to freeze into an ice cube so bad. And it happened because then I put the iconic London Luminator in there and she is just as liquidy as can be. And so she didn't freeze. These are very different formulas, obviously. But at least we got one item, guys. We got one item that just like froze into a rock. Yes. The highlight is so pretty though. I mean... You really can't stop her. Even though we froze her, you really can't stop her. She's doing just fine. She said, use me frozen, use me jelly. Girl, I'm good. Also, the highlight, um, the first only one, it was so hard to open. I was like, Argh. Okay, let's do our eyebrow. So, I normally don't use dip brow pomade, but I figured nothing would happen to a brow pencil, and we would have the best results if we used a pomade. So, I'm going to use the number 12 brush from ABH, and we're going to paint some eyebrows on, my friend. Let's see how the product performs. Right when I open it up, it has frost all over it, and it's like kind of dewy and wet from being in the freezer, but it seems to be coming off just fine. It seems a little frozen, but the pigment in the product... Well, I guess we'll find out now. Oh yeah, girl, she's still good. Dip brow pomade has survived the freezer. Yeah, she's working just fine. We have one eyebrow painted on and it seems like the product's actually performing just fine. As far as the brow gel, however, that did freeze pretty badly and it came out in one crusty. So the brow gel, it looks like it froze pretty badly, but it came out in one crusty clump. So it, yeah, girl, she took a beating in there. So the brow gel, I'm using it, but it's like not really doing anything like super crusty the brow gel did not survive the freezer okay i didn't put my milk brow gel in there because i actually use it every day and that's my only clear one so i was like oh my god so i put my second best one which is the brow or never from victoria's secret in there and it didn't end well for her so i'm really glad i didn't put that milk one in there now now for our eyes the Alyssa edwards palette and nudie patootie girl they survived it just fine okay as far as the eyes the Alyssa edward palette it's like soaking wet and you know they're not made of plastic so hopefully it doesn't damage the outer of the packaging but the eyeshadows they seem to actually swatch like just fine and look totally good so for nudie patootie opening it up i mean same thing kind of frosty and wet on the outside but opening it up I was really concerned with the foiled shades I'd wondered if they because they're super creamy and foiled so I was wondering if they would be rock hard and no they didn't freeze they still swatch just fine eyeshadow made it however I did end up throwing in there a cream eyeshadow take a hike from dose of colors and taking it out it honestly was so hard to open and the actual thing feeling it right now it's just like so crusty and like dried out feeling which makes me pretty sad i'm gonna start off my look using bare which is the matte peach shade y'all hang out to the end for this aerosol i'm wondering like what's gonna happen to this setting spray so i am using bare and i'm just blending it all up in this crease girl and she's super pigmented still she's performing just fine so it appears that you know if you freeze your eyeshadow they're gonna be doing just fine 
Now that we have our creases painted on, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of, I'm gonna add some Jaybird to our eyelid. Okay, I just finished my eye look on this side. I really love the way it came out. We used a little bit of color, okay? What I'm gonna do now is go ahead and show you guys how I got the look using my frozen eyeshadows. I am carving out my eyelid right now with a little bit of that concealer, which seems to be performing pretty gosh darn good. However, as time goes by, like it's starting to defrost a little bit and a little bit easier to work with. Okay, we have our eyelid carved out. Now I cannot wait to use Jaybird for you guys. And the reason I put Nudie in there is because I created like these foiled eyeshadows. This is an M224 brush by the way. And I wanted to see because they're quite creamy, like if they would freeze and really they didn't. They're totally fine. I mean, it kind of would have been cool if they froze, but they didn't. Jaybird is definitely like my favorite eyeshadow shade that I ever made. It's such a cool color. It's really intense, but at the same time, it's somewhat neutral, so it's really easy to wear. Okay, and then for the purple shade, I did pull it out of this ABH palette, and I'm using Believe, which is just a matte purple. I'm going in with a G13 brush. It's just a short, fluffy, dense brush, and I really like this brush, but Morphe keeps discontinuing things and then they'll bring them back and then they'll discontinue them. So, girl, I'm just using the brush. Supposedly it's discontinued, but you never know. Anyway, it's just a dense, fluffy brush if you're following along. What I'm doing is I'm packing it on the outer corner right here, just pushing it. And then I'll do like the tiniest strokes to blend it. I'm also just lightly tapping it along the lash line. We got a little bit of fallout happening right there. So I'm just gonna take this Artiste brush. Oh! <gasps> Flip it away. Normally when I do intense looks, I'll do my foundation last today. I didn't want the foundation to defrost. I wanted to see how it performed, so I did it first. Moving on to eyeliner, and I was really concerned because this is one of my favorite eyeliners ever. This is by Ofra. This is the Verified Eyeliner. By the way, it is a complete and total dupe for the Kat Von D liner. It's the exact same brush tip, and I'm really pleased. Guys, I have a purple mustache right now. I don't know if you can see that, but it like... Okay, but honestly, the eyeliner survived the freezer, guys. It's working just fine, which is pretty exciting. I'm ever in a snowstorm, like, I just know that, like, the liner is going to be great. So the Too Faced Mascara, because this tube is metal, it has frost all over it, so it froze pretty good. Pulling out the wand, like, the mascara, Girl, she lost the battle. The mascara is so hunky chunky and like frozen in there. So your mascara will freeze. It will not survive a freezing. I'm just gonna do the best that I possibly can with it. Ugh. However, she just just get out of the freezer, but not performing at its best. <laughs> All that dries on my eyes before I put on my false lashes. I'm gonna go in with Streak, which is this really bright shimmery shade. Super pretty for the inner corner, which is what I created it for. Oh, girl. I really love. She's, she's sparkly, so while I'm at it, this little detail brush, I'm just gonna pop it onto the brow bone. Okay, time for lashes. Now, with my lashes, I didn't really suspect anything crazy would happen, and opening them up, they seem totally fine. However, I was worried because, like, the frost would create them to get wet in a way. I was scared it was going to, like, ruin them, but honestly, they're just fine. So, I'm very happy about that because you guys know how I feel about my lashes. They are not a game to me. Okay, when it comes to the lash glue, when it says do not freeze, it meant do not freeze because the lash glue did not survive whatsoever. It is just a ball of goo in there. Oh, I just pulled the brush out and it's like nothing came out. Oh, uh, you can like swirl. It was like slime. Look at this. It looks, can you tell? It looks like slime in there. <laughs> Guys, it's completely ruined. Oh my God. Completely ruined. Okay. So we ruined our lash glue for a YouTube video. Just gonna toss her. I love the way our eyes look, so I think what I should do now is take a little bit of the purple shade and just go ahead and just lightly blend it all the way across the lower lash line. So it kinda, we have a cohesive look. Okay, the mascara is kinda defrosting now. So it is working better. Does anyone else make a horrible face when they're doing the mascara? Because God knows I do. 
So it looks like the Too Faced mascara is able to bounce back after it is frozen. For my lips, I froze this stripped down lip liner. She's cold, but she's working good. And I froze some Kylie Jenner liquid lipsticks and unscrewing them is pretty hard because they're frozen stiff and the formula seems a little bit thicker, but honestly, they're swatching a-okay. So I'm just going to put this one that's called Penelope in the center. It's like a peach, a really pretty peach shade that matches our eyes. Okay, and the very last product we're gonna test out, oh my God, it is the aerosol. It's so frozen, let's see what happens. <gasps> ah, ah, it's spraying out like a waterfall. <laughs> like it's not spraying normal. <gasps> oh my God, it's spraying so weird, guys. Okay, um, I'm gonna call it. The setting spray did not survive the freezer. I mean, it kind of did, but it's like, not spraying normal. I wonder if in a little while it will go back to spraying normal because the product is like weird. I'm just happy it didn't explode in my freezer. <laughs> that would have been so bad. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure and subscribe before you leave if you haven't already and I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.